ready? Mm -hmm. Back up and come to the top of your mat and we're going to do sun saltation A, Surya Namaskar A. So stand with feet together, but if your knees are touching, spread your and feet slightly apart. So your knees shouldn't be touching. Stand tall, make sure your feet are firmly placed, your quads are engaged, your core is engaged. Roll your shoulders back, arms straight down, fingertips separated, look straight ahead, make sure your head is aligned with your back. Engage the whole body, stretch here. Inhale and exhale here. And on your next inhale, take your hands up above, towards the ceiling, with your prayer pose, and look at your thumb. Inhale. Exhale here, and then inhale, come forward to the Bhan Asana A. Relax your palms onto the mat. If you're unable to put your palms on the mat, then grab your ankles and pull your forehead to your knees. And you need to show your back is straight. If your back is straight, bend your knees and bring yourself down. Then inhale into Udan Asana B. Fingertips on the floor in front of you. Halfway look up. Ensure your back is straight. Again, bend your knees if your back is not straight. Then pass to the side of your feet. Inhale, jump back into Pachuranga Dandasana or Asana Namashika, whatever's easier for you. Inhale, exhale here. Inhale, lift yourself forward, lift your chest and your legs and your knees off the mat. Look up into other class one asana. Hold there to the right. Ensure your pelvis is tilted forward. Then push your heels back, lift your hip up into earth class one asana. Again, try to touch your feet on the mat. Ensure your core is engaged. Lift your hips high up. Ensure your inside shoulders are facing the covers and shoulders are pushed back. If your back is straight, then bend your knees slightly. Hold here for five jai breaths. One, two, three. Four, five. Bend, inhale, bend your knees. Jump or step back forward to Udan Asana at B. Exhale to Udan Asana A. Then bring your arms to the side and come up into Asana and look up at your fingertips. And then relax in Samasthani. Great. So we'll go again and we'll go a little bit faster. So stand tall in Tandasana again. Inhale up into Hastasana. Exhale, arms to the side into Dhan Asana A. Inhale into Dhan Asana B. Palms to the side of the mat. Inhale, jump and step or step back into Chaturanga Dadasana or Ashtag Namashtar. Bring your chest forward into Adhan Asana. Lift up into Urdhvukaswan Asana. Hold for five Ajay breaths here. One, two, Three, four, and five. Bend your knees. Jump or step back into Dhan Asana A. Sorry, Dhan Asana B. And then go into Dhan Asana A. Hands to the side. Bring yourself up to Urdhvukasana. And hands. Inhale and exhale. 
back into Uttan Asana. A. Inhale, Uttan Asana. B. Hands to the side of the mat. Inhale, jump back into Chaturanga Dandasana or Sant Namaskar. Bring us forward into Abho Mukha Svanasana. Lift up into Urdh Mukha Svanasana. Hold for five Ujjayi breaths. One, two, three, which is a sounding breath, so you should be making some sounds with this breath. Four, five, bend your knees, step or jump forward into the Dhan Asana B. The Dhan Asana A. Come forward, up into Hastasana, slightly backwards bend, and rest in Samastavi. Okay, you can take a break for a few seconds. You know, a glass of water if you can, or just sit down on your mat. And then we'll go into Sun Saltation B, Surya Namaskar B. So come back to the top of your mat. Stand in Dandasana. So make sure your core is engaged, your core is engaged, shoulders are rolled back, arms straight and fingertips and core and head looking forward. Take a few breaths here. So inhale and exhale. And exhale. Bend your knees into Utka Asana, the chair pose. Hold here, five breaths. So sit down further into the chair. So if you can go lower, try to go slightly lower. That's good. That's two, three, Five. Exhale into Thun Asana A. Inhale Uthan Asana B. Halfway you come. Place your hands on the side of the mat. Inhale, bend your knee and jump back into Chaturanga Dandasana for a start Namaskar. Hold here for a breath. Then lift forward into other Mukhaswan Asana. Hold here for two breaths. One, two. Then lift your heels up and your hips up into other Mukhaswan Asana. Hold for five Ujjayi breaths. So one, two, Three, so bend your knees if your back isn't straight. So Bhag Bethiji, if you bend your knees slightly to keep your back straight. Yash, same for you as well. Five. Lift your right leg up in the air and bring it forward between your palms and come up. Keep your hips square and take your hands into B with us now. One, so hands up. Towards the ceiling, hips should be square. And then come back down, palms on the floor. So jump back and go back into Chaturanga Dandasana or Usta Namaskar. Come forward to Ukaswan Asana. Good. And lift up to, into Urdhmukaswan Asana. Hold here for five breaths. 
Again, bend your knees to keep your back straight. Your back should be completely straight. Two, three, four, five. And lift your left leg up. Bring it forward between your palms. Lift your body up. Keep your back leg straight. Your front leg should be 90 degrees. Your hands on your hips. Square your hips. Bring your arms straight up towards the ceiling. It should be look straight ahead and go slightly deeper with your buttocks. Go push down into the pose. It's a Vibhradasana one, warrior one pose. Hold and then put your palms back onto the mat and go back into Chaturanga Dandasana for a Shana Mashkar. Hold for five with chai breaths. One, two, three, four, five. Bend your knees. Jump or step back into your down asana. See? The down asana A. And then inhale and bring your hands in front. Bend your knees into Atka Asana, <laughs> Atka asana which is a chair pose. Hold for five breaths. Go deeper as you can. So it's like you're sitting on a chair, make sure your back is straight, pelvic tilted forward, core to engage. Two, three, four, five. And rest in some mustardy. So grab a glass of water, rest it for a few seconds, and then we'll go, go again. We'll go a bit faster. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about anyone else, I am. <laughs> it's difficult when you talk and do it. Yeah, your throat gets dry. <laughs> it's different. Yeah. Than just <laughs> Teacher like, oh. <laughs> can't be tired. <laughs> so when you're ready, you feel relaxed, come back to the top of your mat again, and then we go again. Right, so stand in Dandasana. So remember your quads are engaged. Your core's engaged, pull it slightly to the shoulders or the hips apart. Look straight ahead. Inhale, bring your arms forward, bend your knees into Utka Asana, the chair pose. And make sure your back is still straight. If your back isn't straight, uh, your lower back's arching, then just tilt your pelvic slightly forward and hold the five breaths. One, two, three, four, five. Then come down into Uttan Asana A. Inhale, Uttan Asana B, halfway through. Ensure your back is straight. If not, just bend your knees slightly. Bring your palms to the side of your feet. Jump or step back. Chaturanga Dandasana or Shant Namaskar. Bring your chest forward into other Mukhaswanasana. So your knees, your core should be off the mat. And look straight ahead. Good. And put your heels back. Lift your hip up into other Mukhaswanasana. Hold for five to dry breaths there. Which is the sounding breath. Two, 
Okay, so if you need a glass of water, grab some water, rest for a few minutes, shake your body out. see all the things uh, okay. uh, shall i tell you something about yeah. the yeah. yeah there was a mistake on the posture name which one uh urdhva mukha swanasana and adho mukha swanasana this one is urdhva mukha yeah. and this one is adho mukha yeah yes and yeah. uh, Just uh, forgot the sequence. Uh, in Urdu Mukha, this is upward facing dog. Your head is up in Urdu Mukha. Yeah. So Adam uh, Adam Mukha is this one, is it? This is Urdu Mukha. You can see. You have to look up. Urdu Mukha, upward okay. facing dog. Adam Mukha. Yeah, Down I did that. <laughs> yeah, I did that at the beginning, then I got it wrong. Yeah, you. <laughs> It's okay. But, Adho mukha. Adho mukha. Adho mukha. Okay. Adho and Urdu. Yes, and uh, you should also tell the benefits of the postures. Oh my God! Please. <laughs> and uh, when you uh, tell your students to hold in Adho mukha, so tell them to hold in Ujjayi breath. They should uh, breathe Ujjayi breath. I did say that. Please. You said that. Yeah. Okay. You were Hey, teacher. Okay. That's it. Now, are you tired? Do you want to take over now? <laughs> okay, sit down. So today, now Monica Ji will teach a surprise huh? test. A surprise test. <laughs> yes. Monica. Yes, yes, Monica. M O N I C A. Monica Mantovani. Oh, no. A surprise test, just a surprise test. If you can, I know you can. I'm 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 really good in sense salutations, but the rest of it I don't know. Ah, uh, you can do uh, simple basic postures like uh, bhagasana, shishasana, some stretching. Just fifteen minutes, you and fifteen minutes, Bhagavi Ji. Yeah. <laughs> Yashwan ji, can you teach? Yeah, I can teach yoga nidra. Me <laughs> too. <laughs> <laughs> some asans, some asanas. <laughs> can you teach? No, no. no. <laughs> okay, Monika ji, all the best. God, why? Us. Surprise test. Do whatever you want. We will follow you. It's okay, now you are starting from zero. No names. I'm. I'm. I. Ugh. You can't. No, I can, but but I don't even know some names. Okay, it's okay. I will. I will take the names. Okay. Okay. Okay, Manu will take the names. Manu <laughs> will take the names. You show the posters. If you know, you can take the English name. Manu will translate them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Just uh, do some basic postures like Bhakasana and uh, uh, Virbhadrasana and Shishasana. The basic basic postures. What is Bhakasana? I have to look. What is it? Bhakasana is this. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, that one. The crane pose or crow pose. Okay, and the other one. Which Shishasana. one? Shishasana. The he he headstand. 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 Okay, and the other one you want? Warrior Virbhadra. Warrior. 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 Okay. Which one I start? Warrior. Warrior. You can start from anyone, and uh, and also do other postures. Now, because you know, I translate the names in Sanskrit, so Manu knows everything. 
Try to do different one. Okay, you can start from anyone. Very good. Very good. Very not good. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so let's just start with uh, Makasana. Okay. And I, I, I can't hold too much. I know how to. Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay. You can hold for just for two, three seconds. And uh, others like Manrup, Naila, okay. Bhargavi, and okay. Jishanji will hold for a long. <laughs> okay. So, what's the first pose? Makasana. Manrup ji, translate yeah. it in English. Which one? Makasana. It's crow pose. And if you are doing it with the straight elbows, then crane pose. Huh? The banded elbows. If you are doing this with banded elbows, so it is a, it is crow pose. And if it's straight elbows, then crane pose. Uh. Am I clear? Can okay. you write it down? Huh? Yeah, I will write it down. Okay. Okay, this is a this one is a pro pose, right? When you do a pose. Yeah. This is ten left. Ten arms each. Just some get the left one. Yeah. Well, your elbows are actually. Let's do it. Then the elbows grow. Uh-huh. See? Yes. Okay, Monica, do you also start? This crow. Uh, crow. Cuervo. Crane. Crane, that crane, the head, the headboard. That is crown, that is crown. Crane. Crane. Crown, uh, the head is crown, the crown pose. That ah, is yeah, different. Yeah. Yes, right. that crown of the head. Ah, they are both different. Crane, I don't know how it's in, in Spanish, but, but Portuguese, crane is guindaste. What? Guindaste, it's, like the, the, it's like the thing that carries stuff. But, ah. but it's in Portuguese, I don't know. In what language are you talking? It's okay. Yeah? So. What is your language? Portuguese. I'm Brazilian. Ah, Portuguese. Uh, is there a little bit of Spanish? Yeah, 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 some words, that's why I told you. Okay, people, let's just start. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and start. Stand up. Yeah. I'm nervous. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yes. Yes? Okay. Uh, I learned it two ways different, but... Um, I will, I will tell the way I, I think it's easier. Okay, stand up and put your hands on the ground. Elbows should be straight. I... Put the strength in your core and try to put your knees, your arms, one foot, and that's it. I'm not so good at it. <laughs> and I don't even know how to tell how to do it. Okay, okay, okay. It's, it's okay. <sighs> okay, Bhargavi. <laughs> Bhargavi ji, let's start. You will teach now. Only the Bakasana. No Bakasana. Huh? Anyone You just tell them, they will do it. You don't do, you just tell how to do the alignment and other things. Because we didn't learn the alignment of it yet. You know, Bakasana, we just did the warrior to now. That's right. No, no, because we are uh, we have twenty days of classes. Just to come three weeks. Three weeks. Ah, okay, okay, okay. 
are in the beginning of the alignment. Okay, you can, okay you can start from then a warrior. A warrior, okay. I learned yeah. it. I can tell you. <laughs> okay, okay. But it's Vigi or, or it's me? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know she's there. Okay. Can we do back bends? Sorry? Okay. Back. What? Back bend poses. The, okay, you can do. The bow pose. So you will teach the back bending postures? Back bending poses like six asana? Okay, if you want, I can teach the pose now. Sorry, Bhargavi ji. Bakasana, will you teach us now? Huh? Bakasana, will you teach us now? Okay, Bakasana, okay, okay, okay. So, uh, you have to put it. First, adjust yourself, adjust your clothes. Okay. Now, from here, open your feet. There should be one to two feet distance between your legs. Now inhale, raise your arms up over your head. And as you exhale, extend your body fully forward. Keep your spine straight. Okay, keep your legs straight. Now drop your palms on the ground. Now drop your fingertips on the ground and look forward. Now inhale, bend your knees, drop your palms on the ground and adjust your knees to your arms together. Now from here, Lift your heels up and lift your buttocks more up, as much as you can. Take a deep breath, inhale, press your palms on the ground. Strong your core, make strong your legs. Now from here, slowly one leg up, then another leg up. Okay, now see there's also a difference. The yes. core pose with bending elbows, in Hindi it is known as kakhasana. I also uh, wrote it down on the chat, you can see. In Hindi, kakhasana. And uh, the crane pose in Hindi Bakasana. Am I clear? Yes. If yes, then uh, say it. Yes. Can you hear my voice? Lavanya. Yes. Monica, there is a tip. You, you should think your head is going that way. No one is listening to me. Focus on going up. <laughs> I'm saying, did you uh, understand the name and see, uh, name uh, of uh, the pose? Kakasana and Bakasana. Kakasana and Bakasana. Yes. Crow in Sanskrit language, it is known as Kak. Kakasana is when your knees are now the bend. That is with the, yes, with the, okay. Let me tell you that also. This one is Kakasana. Okay. This one is Kakasana, this one is Bakasana, then, kakhas then Kakasana advanced level is with this one. From here, hands are here. <laughs> Am I clear? Uh -huh. That one is Kakasana's advanced level. That's advanced? Yes. Fully <laughs> hands on the ground. Yes, but together or separate? Separate, separate. I separate with four arms. Four arms. First, drop your elbows, yes. Look forward. Very good, Nailaji. Look forward. Very good. Very well. I never see the, 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 the regular. Easy. Yeah, she's doing it, before. it is not easy. It looks easy. <laughs> <laughs> so you can try because, uh, yeah, even uh, when I start to practice this, it we looks okay. me, it seems like easy very much. Yeah. But uh, here, if uh, you do it, uh, like uh, you have to give, uh, so, you have to so much focus on the pose because um, if in case you get some injury, so mm -hmm. there will be so much, you know it will be very harmful for you because yeah. here you have to just give pressure on your palms and your wrist. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm afraid. But in advanced level, you have to give pressure to your whole arm, whole forearm mm -hmm. and your palm. You can see Manubji. 
Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, wow. So you can do it by yourself? No, don't do that. I, I use blocks for the Bakasana because I find it easy. Oh, wait. Bakasana for, uh, ah, yeah, you for Bakasana. You can, yeah. For Bakasana, you can use blocks. Yeah, because I find it easier. Yeah, yeah. And then when I'm strong, then I won't use it. <laughs> you can uh, put uh, the blocks uh, under your palms. And one recommendation is not try to jump. Once you, once you're well support, hold your core and just go forward and your body will lift up along. Yes. Now straight your elbows. Oh, I, I can't do that yet. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Manduvji, your turn. The advanced level of Kakhasana. <laughs> no, I, say it is easy. <laughs> I can do the baby one, which is on the block. <laughs> you can also do this uh, just like uh, Yashwanji is uh, taking a uh, cushion support. You can also use that. Okay, okay go Manduvji. <laughs> You are doing wrong from starting. No, this is not a me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to do it? Also, measure the distance between your feet. Yeah, no, your it's palms. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, do it. There should be one to two feet distance between your feet also. He said, hey, huh? Yeah, but my blocks are not big enough. <laughs> Oh. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, Jis Jan, Naila Jis Jan, Bhargavi Ji, let's start. Very good. So Manu Ji, this is the way to take measurement, okay? If, if you have two blocks, you can uh, put your blocks in second level. Okay. Under your feet. Okay, Bhargavi ji. Monika ji. The advanced level of Kakhasana. The advanced? With yes. the... <laughs> Just put like this. Yes. Oh. Bring your hands a little bit back. Okay. You measure by yourself. Okay. I cannot say it from. No. There. Yeah. You can. Yes, you measure from there because. My elbows of... be next to my feet. Okay, oh. because uh, it seems like they are so much far from here. Just uh, it seems like so much far. Okay. I should be stand right like this. Okay. Very good. <laughs> I can do like this. <laughs> look, forward, look forward, you can do it. Very good. Look forward. Oh. <laughs> very well, very good. Very good. Now do the advanced level of Bakasana. Straight elbows, straight elbows. Oh, I, I can't even hold. Huh? Regular one. I will try it, but I don't know. Okay, okay, try. Yeshwanji also get ready. Very good. No, I think my problem oh, is my okay. wrist. Okay. I can hold so, too much. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. So what you can do? Okay. You can take a wall support. Let me show you how you can take. Oh, nice. Can you hear my voice? 
Yes. Okay. So how you can take a wall support? Uh, okay. From here, just take the measurement. Mm -hmm. Go down. Then again, just do the same. From here, then lift your legs up and take a wall support. Okay. Oh. It will help you make your arm super strong. Okay. I, I will practice like this every day. It's better. Uh, the wall. Because yes, I yes. can do it, but I can hold too much. So I will try with the wall so I'd I be strong with, in my arms. <laughs> yes, yes, I yes. Was, I was trying, I, I saw a video and I was trying with the blocks. Yes, but yes. with the blocks in the head, Why you know? You your support? I was taking the blocks as support to my head, but it, it uh, doesn't work. Am I clear? Like this, by putting your legs, uh, the ankles on the ground, on the chair. Ooh. Okay. Yes. Do you like to make your arms more strong instead of doing uh, on the ground? So I put my legs. But also, Naila ji, Naila ji, wait. Uh, also make sure that uh, there is some weight. You can put uh, your books or uh, maybe someone of your family, they can sit on the chair so that chair will also not fall down. The thing is too hard. The thing is too hard to do the seat, but let me try. If she have fall down, then uh, you will get the injury injury on your knees, on your elbows, on on your wrist, on your face, and on your whole leg. This is better on your whole body. By the way, she's cool here. Make sure make sure that the chair not get slipped. I th I think she should try with the wall. Yes, yeah, she it's can try better. because it's fixed. And you just put your feet, and, and it doesn't swap. Like, how can I say this? Otherwise, if there is uh, someone near you, you can uh, bring them, then uh, they can ho hold the chair. Yeah. No, 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 Bhargavi ji. <laughs> what were you doing? I couldn't see you when you did that. Voice is not. I couldn't see you when you did on the wall. Ah, you have to do same. Okay, wait. Can you hear my voice? Yes. Yeah. Okay. From here, just step by step. And also make sure that the table don't get here and there. Otherwise, you will, uh, your knees uh, will, you will fall down. Then there will be injury on your knees, ankles, shin bone, wrist, whole hands, whole elbows, whole body. You're Almost not... whole body. Then you have to take a bed rest of minimum 5 to 10 or 20 days. Yeah. Nice. nice. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> That's why I'm saying uh, uh, someone of your family, they can sit on the chair. Then you can do this. Bakasana. Okay. What are the benefits of this? Bakasana will help you to, you can see in the posture. It will help you to make your whole arm strong, whole leg strong and little bit of your core strong. Okay. And it will also, the biggest benefit, you can do meditation in this posture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The biggest, uh, the biggest benefit is you can do meditation in this posture. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So remember this thing, when you have to teach, you also should, you should tell the benefits. Mm -hmm. Okay. Manupji, when you teach some other students in your life, then remember to tell the benefits. I was just too nervous I'm trying to remember all the names. <laughs> yes, I imagine. <laughs> Uh, Naila ji is taking, uh, what are you, is that wall or your bookshelf? Uh, bookshelf. Frozen there in Bakasana. Okay, now Yeshwan ji, your turn. The last.
Yeah. Sure. You take care of the yourself and your children. Oh my God. Monika ji, get ready. You have to teach Shish Asana also, okay? Mm hmm. The head stand. Very good, Yashwan ji. Okay, it's okay. Okay. You also do. You also practice this with the wall support. Okay. Now the last pose, Monika ji. All the best. <laughs> okay. Head stand. Okay. I, I will tell what I remember from the class. Mm -hmm. Next to the wall, because I don't know how to do how without the wall. But well, tell them uh, step by step, okay? Step by step. Yeah, as I remember, it, it's child's pose first, right? Uh, arms bent, fingers. Mm -hmm. First, you extend your arms. Extend your arms, okay. Extend your arms, child's pose. Interlace your fingers. Mountain pose. Down of the head on the ground. Head on the ground. And walk. <laughs> walk, 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 walk. And try to raise one leg. Very good. And the other leg. Ooh la la. Right. <laughs> and stretch your legs. And breathe deeply. 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, now you hold there. Naila ji is doing there. Bhargavi ji is also trying. Yashwan ji also try. And now Manduk ji, you teach step by step. Just teach, don't do. Oh, you want me to teach it? Yeah, you, you just teach how to do, just step by step, and then uh, Yashwanji will do. Oh my god. Okay, so um, come into child pose. Um, straight arm in front of you. <laughs> yeah. Interlace your fingers. Bend your elbows. You <laughs> Okay, I want to learn. I want to le learn. You teach me. I want to learn. For it now. So interlace your fingers. No, yeah, interlace. And then come to mountain pose. Bring your body forward. Wait, 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 wait. Just uh, when you interlace your fingers, you have to drop your crown of that on the ground. Oh. So, but okay. And uh, close your elbows a little bit more. It seems like uh, they are so much open. It should be the distance of the shoulders, right? Yes. I can't do it. <laughs> and then put your, I think you have to measure your head from here. So it's the center of the head that goes down. <laughs> and then <laughs> that's what Gramji said. He said, measure like this. And that's the part that goes down, is this part. Okay. <laughs> I don't like doing headstands because of my neck. <laughs> okay, you don't like, then it's okay. I hate them. <laughs> okay, now the, when you come from Shishasana, what do you have to do? Monika ji, forward. Yes, when yes, I, when forward. Come back. Mm -hmm. No, no, just take a face to, off your palms and put your uh, uh, forehead on your... Ah, yeah. like this. Because your whole blood is now on your head. Okay. Am I right, Manduk ji? Yes, sir. I think you are a doctor. Am I right? Okay. Are you a doctor? I'm a nurse. Uh, you are a nurse, so you know about this better than me. So why don't you tell them to do this? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's complete the class. Now, uh, teach Yogi Nidra Mandrukji. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay so if you teach. can, otherwise Yashwanji will teach. Yashwanji can teach. <laughs> Yashwanji, are you here? 
He's gone. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he's like, no, yeah, I think. And he's the with the microphone off. Okay, Manju, do you teach? Okay. So, uh, get into position of the yoga nidra, which is lying down. Tabasana. Yeah. On your back. This is my favorite position. <laughs> Palm up. Yes, Yalasana. Feet slightly apart. Just rest here. And just relax. Inhale. And exhale deeply here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and as you exhale, release all the worries of the day. Inhale, pure healing light, energizing light into your body. And exhale any negative emotions that are trapped inside your body. Inhale and exhale. On your next inhalation, relax your entire body. Relax your legs, your ankles, your shoulders, your palms, your head. Relax your entire body. Feel the relaxation in your entire body. Just continue breathing, inhaling deeply and exhaling deeply. With every exhalation, go deeper into relaxation. Inhale and exhale deeply. Inhale and exhale. On your next inhalation, wiggle your toes. Bring back your awareness into your body. Wiggle your palms and your fingers. Stretch your legs out. Bring your arms over overhead and stretch bend your knee roll over to one side and roll over to one side with your palms on the floor bring yourself up into a seated position And open your eyes. When you're ready, come back to the room. I didn't practice that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you forgot to chant the Om sound, the mantra. Yeah, I know. 
most important you forgot to take the name of pose shavasana shavasana <laughs> i told you i didn't practice this i practice all the other moves i thought this would be easy but <laughs> uh, yes when you where were you you sleeping <laughs> I, i was not actually so i could i'll uh-huh. i'll teach tomorrow <laughs> okay 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 Mm. so manuk ji this was your favorite pose shavasana yeah <laughs> no 